Hi, welcome to One Up My News. This is the first ever episode, and we thought we'd celebrate by opening a golden loot box in Overwatch. Oh, are we doing this now? Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, my God. I got two what? legendaries. Congratulations. It's, uh... Oh, no. It's two skins. Well, it's congrats. It's a Bastion and a Symmetra. Yeah! Hey everybody, welcome to the first ever episode of One Up My News. It is the news podcast of the One Up Me podcast. We kind of, that sounds really weird, but we basically just separate them out, separated out into two podcasts. So we're going to have a news podcast <clears throat> and then a topic podcast every week. So this is the news podcast. This is kind of like it's your intro, but that's about it. That's about it. That's so, all we got for you. Welcome to the new show. Welcome. So uh, we want to start the show off by talking about some new games, and the first one up is actually five of them. Hey, hey, uh, he said the name. He said the name of the show. He said uh, the first one up. Oh, (laughs) got him. Uh, But this is Hales from PC Gamer, and this is five new Steam games you probably missed. So some of these look cool. You know, you got the Universium, and you got the Messenger, which Ryan has been talking about a lot. Oh my gosh, that game looks so good. I've you got Blade get. Strangers, which is like, it looks interesting. The one that kind of looks me. I love this guy. Yeah. <sighs> it's, it's probably going to be good. <sighs> That's always exactly. a good sign. That's The one that I'm kind of interested in that I might pick up is uh, The Unending Dusk. It's like a side scroller, beat em up brutal cyberpunk looking game so that looks kind of cool uh, and then you got SFD which is a neat looking strategy RPG game with some roguelike elements and that's pretty much it so if you want to check those out uh, they'll be in the show notes <laughs> uh, that's uh, the next game uh, Spider-Man on PS4 is finally out ladies and gentlemen and it is getting the best reviews that yes. it got, I don't know, that was a weird way to say that. But it's getting, like, greats, like, nines and tens across the board. I like, stopped playing it to record this episode. Like, oh, I cannot wait to get it. It looks so good. Like it is. The downgrades were proven wrong. The wrong. game is beautiful. It has the I don't puddles. know if it actually got any tens because I didn't look hard into it because I'll I didn't give want it to get spoiled. A but lock, 10 I out know of 10, it's baby. getting incredible reviews. I really want to play it, and I'm it's jealous that I awesome. haven't. And Jordan got this Spider-Man PS4. He Instagrammed about that baby today. It is. I use Instagram beautiful. as a verb, and I'm ashamed of it. I mean, I'm, technically it's a verb, I'm sure. Whatever, it's 2018. It's 2018. Instagram's a verb. Yep. You want to fight? Right. Let's go. Yeah. But, man, this game looks so good. Go pick it up if you can. If you have a PS4 and the money, go pick it up. It's getting only good reviews. I've just seen nothing but good yeah. reviews about this game. Like, it will help with anything you're going through in your life because there is nothing more fun than swinging around New York. Especially a Spider-Man game drought. That's also true. That's like the perfect cure for a Spider-Man game drought. Oh, by the way, Spider-Man. if y'all hear something that sounds like somebody choking on a chicken bone or like a Decepticon, that's on my end. And for some reason, one of my speakers is in another room. It's in another room. But it might sound like a Michael Bay Decepticon. It actually sounds kind of cool, but it's kind of terrifying, it's too, because I keep thinking I'm going to hear terrifying. Ryan die. So, just a heads up. I don't think you'll hear it because it's in another room and my door's closed. Also, my roommate's taking a shower right now, like a douche, even though I told him I was recording a podcast. He doesn't care. He's trying to get clean, man. He's a dirty, dirty boy. I don't ca- oh, my gosh, this kid. Anyway, back on track. Six. Civilization Six is coming to Switch on November the 16th. Probably 2018. I didn't That's check that, cool. but I assume 2018. I played a lot of Civilization 3. and Oh, I, yeah? Yeah. Isn't I enjoyed that really it. weirdly? It, yeah, weirdly, really weirdly? Yeah. It's, uh, I like Civilization. It's cool. I it's love like, Civ, man. It's like Sim City, but adults. I played the, uh, I can't remember which one, years and years ago, but the one I really got into was Civ Rev, Civilization Revolution. That game I've never played was that one. It my jam. Kind of cool. It's like I don't know. I think it's just like a mini, like kind of kid friendly, quote unquote. I'm not sure though. It was on the DS. You could play as Abraham Lincoln and I think Gandhi, and you could like kill people. It was dope. 
I really liked it. So I'm excited like about this because I can play Civil- Civilization on the go again. Super, super excited about this. Next on the docket, man, I'm talking really weird today. I'm excited. I'm hyped about the new show and the new Eminem album. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> it's really good. Man, that thing has got us flagged on those YouTube videos, though. <laughs> we, play, we, we streamed. If you don't know, we stream. Um, yeah, we, we stream. We're an entertainment company. <clears throat> we've been streaming Diablo 3. And we're like, yeah, Switch doesn't care. So we played the new Eminem album. And then we caught, we put that bitch on, uh, on YouTube. <laughs> YouTube, and YouTube they care. Immediately. <laughs> Before it's even up, they're like, nah, kid. You got to take this nah. down. I'm like, okay. I know you got like three views on it, but like, it's got to go. It's like, please? So, the plan is, the pl- I think the plan is going to be like, we, we're just going to make gonna our own music. Cool music. Yeah, we're going to become instrumentalists. Yep. Well, um, we're gonna, we, we can play cool music that would get us sued on YouTube on Twitch, but if we upload to Twitch, we can't do that. So. I mean, if we upload to YouTube. Yes, sorry. Sorry. It's cool. Yeah. Moving on. The uh, card game by Valve, Artifact, has you're a release gonna, date. You're just going to breeze over Mega Man oh, like that? Oh, my bad. I completely breezed over it because... It's okay. I, I yeah. don't care about no, it. No, I love Mega Man. Mega Man 11 I, I like is him. getting a free demo. So if you love Mega Man, if you love the Blue Bomber, check that out. It's going to be I've free. I've never heard him call that. <laughs> You've never heard him call the Blue Bomber? No. Oh, my gosh. Huh. Ladies and gentlemen, Jordan it's Sims rusty. has never heard wow. Mega Man called the That's Blue just Bomber. Blew my mind. Yeah, man, Blue Bomber. He's the Blue oh. Bomber. Cool. Okay. Cool. Uh, um, and since I accidentally, you know, kind of stepped over poor Mega Man, um, to jump to this one, you're, g- you're gonna get a Mega Man tattoo now. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a Mega okay. Man helmet Good. and face tattooed on my head. I'm gonna <laughs> shave it all. I'm just gonna tattoo on it, and I'm just gonna scare the absolute. Like I don't even know. Like I don't even know that what level of perfect. fear that would be. I don't know. Like. If you scare your, scare your soul out of your body and into another person, or what? But I don't even like. Don't do that. You'd have to be. Yeah, don't do the bad idea. I don't this, know. I am that excited. Series, but I know that would be horrible. I am excited for this next piece of news, though. Oh yeah, I'm pretty. I'm at the very least interested. <coughs> I watched some videos on it, and it's pretty cool. It's we should probably int- tell them what it is now. Oh yeah. So uh, Bob is coming out with a card game called called Artifact. It is a CCG, which stands for Collectible Card Game. If you did not know, it's going to be on. The computer only. It's going to be on Steam, obviously. It's Valve. Correct. Yeah. But it is inspired heavily, I would say, by Dota. It's going I'd to agree be with that. Dota characters, Dota items, Dota, Dota. It's yep, going to. Dota, it's, Dota. It's, it's even going to have lanes. Like it's yeah, a card I game some... with lanes. It's so kind of hard don't... to uh, every hand, remind me. We will link a video or two in the description. How about that? Correct. So that's yeah, all good. We will. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but it looks really cool. The graphics are pretty. Interesting mechanics. Obviously, there's lanes, so that's very interesting. Jordan, what are you gonna yeah. say, buddy? I, I was I was gonna watch. I watched some videos on it, and it like I had to actually, you know, other card games. You can kind of just you know know what happens based on you know <clears throat> sounds that in the game or card art or whatnot. But this I actually had to like pay attention, and you know like okay, they're casting this. This is happening. This is turn segments, etc. And whatnot. Okay, they're drawing. <coughs> oh, I muted but, my mic to cough, and then I unmuted it, and then I coughed. <laughs> It's cool. It, it's a human thing that happens. Coughing happens. I mean, we are using our vocal you've just, cords. You've just and broken. You've, bro- you've broken the the fourth the, wall. The mist. The now mist. they know we're human. I know. We've let them behind the scenes a lot. But anyway, I, it was in, the card. The card. The uh, cards, the lanes. lanes. The cards. Sorry. The lane system was interesting to watch because it was just, you know, usually in other card games you can be like, okay, this is going to attack that, and you know, we'll I'll win. It's kind of like this. It's like. Go ahead, it's like sorry. chess, kind of. Okay, but so not like really. I, see, I see what you mean. I, I can see that in a in a sense where certain things can only go certain places. Maybe. Exactly, and that's what watching this person play. It was hey, they put this card in front of this card. They're battling. It can't yeah. battle the card, you know, diagonal from it. And so it was just interesting to see that. I feel that you know, not that you don't have to think in other card games. I play. He's calling out other card games. I'm not. He's calling I, out other card games. He's calling out Yugi Ballers. Yeah, it, it we're, we're both calling out Yu Gi Oh. Yeah, I play a ton of card games, and so it's just interesting to see mechanically that it's, it's something different like this. Yes, yeah. Jordan, I don't know if you've, uh, if you ever played uh, Elder Scrolls Legends. Yeah. So it also has kind of like a late, like lane it type does. thing going on. It's not exactly the same, and 
Um, to be fair, we don't know that much about Artifact yet. We just kind of know that it is a car game based on Dota, and it'll have lanes. There's probably some more stuff out there, but we didn't delve into it too much because we just we don't know. Like we have lives, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, and this isn't a it CCG is, podcast. It is interesting that there uh, it might be comparable to Elder Scrolls in some way. I'm not sure, but I think that's gonna wrap it up. Wrap it up. I think I stole that from somebody. That's gonna wrap up the news. No. That's going to go into the news. That yep, was the, wrap new up the games. games. New Thank games you, portions. Jordan, for, uh, welcome. for fixing my slip-up. The so, first news on the docket. Uh, go ahead, Jordan. My Nintendo news. So <laughs> this article is hilarious this just is because of <laughs> it's just so simple. So The World Ends With You, if you didn't know, it's an amazing game, and it's getting a final remix for the Nintendo Switch. And it will not have pro Switch controller support. That sounded Which really weird. kind of sucks. Yeah. Yeah, the world ends with you. Final remix will not feature a Nintendo Switch Pro controller support. And the that's person the who wrote this article, article, that's the entire article, <laughs> literally. He's like, he goes and asks, uh, let's see, who did he ask? A Nintendo representative, if the traditional control scheme with the Pro controller will be supported, to which they confirmed won't be possible. So he's like, the entire the entire article is just, hey, will uh, the uh, the new release of the world ends with you? Support pro controller and it, no, and that's, then that's, that's the it. whole article. Yep. So uh, it kind of sucks, but I mean, I don't know. It, it also says um, that it's it's um the way that they've implemented the Joy Cons and stuff is well done. So it yep. could be cool. So. Um, next up, we got big news: Henry Cavill to star in Witcher in the Witcher Netflix series. So I saw this and I was like, <laughs> man. This just proves if you're famous enough and you say stuff out loud, you can get whatever you want. Not that I'm, mad, I'm not mad about this. I I'm like not, Henry you know, Cavill, despite cool. um, Superman. Um, uh, yeah. he's, he's not the problem. Anyway, I like Henry Cavill. <laughs> he was really, really good in Mission Impossible Fallout. That's a great movie. I haven't seen that yet. But yeah, it's it a fantastic good. movie. Um, but so if you didn't know, he did an interview with IGN mm, recently. I'll just say recently. I'm not sure exactly when it was. But somehow The Witcher 3 got brought up and he was talking about how much he loved the game. And I believe he said he was on like his second or third playthrough of it. And he said he had sort of read the books and how much he loved them. And that you should read them if you haven't. And they asked him if he would like to play Geralt in a, uh, in a TV show. And he was like, yeah, I would love that. And it happened. Yep, there you go. Which is kind of cool. You know, I, I want to know the background of this, if the show was already greenlit and they were looking for someone, or if it got greenlit because he said he wanted to play this character, I, 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 I don't know. Like they maybe they were looking for somebody. I think the show was probably already greenlit, but they were like looking for somebody, and they were like, "Hey, he said he, he said he wants it. Let's let's give yeah, it to him. Let's do it." I mean, I guess it just shows that you know if dreams do come true, if you're a you know a beautiful millionaire, dreams do come he true. Is, he is a very nice looking man. I almost did a hard segue to the next article. But Jordan, I, that's, if you go back and listen uh, to the past podcast, see, one reason I wanted to do this was because I think it's going to keep it tighter but also looser, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's Jordan true. has a history of <laughs> the worst segues imaginable. He, he, hard he's segues. Like, so, yeah, I mean, The Witcher is kind of violent, and that's why the Olympics don't want it in... The eSports Olympics. That's not what I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to say, you know, Henry Cavill's really handsome, and a lot of eSports professionals are really handsome because they're that. Asian. And oh my gosh. eSports, oh my they don't gosh. want killer games in the Olympics. I'm triggered. And this is, this yeah, is coming from Eurogamer. Okay. <laughs> so bad. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and um, if you hear that in the background, my roommate is drying his hair because he's... He's I'm using loser. a hairdryer? He's using a hairdryer at 6 30 in the <laughs> in afternoon. Oh my gosh. I don't even, uh, I'm gonna go punch him in the gut. No, nah, I don't want him well, to. After be. after we finish this recording, you can. Okay. No, nah, I love my roommate. He is a God nice God bless. Fella. Shout out if you're listening to this, which I think he does sometimes. I hate you though, Justin. <laughs> yeah, it's so, so the uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Esports. Yeah. Killer games. Olympics. No. 
<laughs> that's the sum, that's that's, summation. Okay. That's the whole article. So uh, it says here, uh, we cannot have the Olympic program, in the Olympic program, excuse me, a game which is promoting violence or dis- discrimination, Bach told the Associated Press. During the recent Asian Games, an event where esports wore, for the first time, a future, albeit a demonstration sport only, so-called killer games. I'm reading this really weirdly. I apologize. They, from our point of view, are contradictory to the Olympic values and cannot, therefore, be accepted. It's And it says here, it's an argu- arguably hyperbolic stance, or hy- hypocritical, to take since many Olympic sports include shooting, fencing, archery, you know, boxing, uh, like judo, and stuff like that. They're all Olympic sports. And then, um, let's see, who is this exactly? It was the, okay, it was Olympic... Committee uh, President Thomas Bach. Mm-hmm. That's who Bach was. Correct. And then he says, he goes on to say, uh, of course every combat sport has its origins in a real fight among people, but sport is the civilized expression about this. If you have an e-game, I don't know why you call it an e-game, and then of course e-sports, where it's about killing somebody, this cannot be brought into line with Olympic values. I feel like they're putting this in the same category as if they were like, Hey, let's uh, put Hunger Games in there and also put Pokemon fighting, which would just be like a purge in an arena and also animal fighting. Like, yeah, that, like it's been a lot of people have kind of um, called this guy out and said um, that you're kind of being a little dumb here because, like we said, like you like you said in your own quote, many Olympic sports were and still are used as combat. And like, yeah. So it's, it's my thing is it's it's like they're not real. Yeah. It's a hundred percent digital. Like, no one is getting hurt. It's like, he, like it, 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 the guy literally says it in his speech or in his quote. He says that what does he say? He says sports are the expression of the um, like actual thing. So like that's kind of exactly what esports are. You know what I mean? Like they're an exp- they're an expression of shooting and like bombs and stuff, but it's not real. Like yeah. in if Archer, anything, you're not shooting an arrow at somebody; you're shooting it at a target. In exactly. Overwatch, you're not shooting a, a bullet to somebody; you're shooting them at a collections of collection of ones and zeros on a screen. Correct. And if anything, <laughs> like yeah. Video games need to be in the Olympics. And I'm not just saying this because I do a video game podcast and because I'm a gamer and I love video games. It's just because, if anything, I'd say they're one of the best sports out there to promote teamwork and to show what true teamwork actually is. Not that, you know, not, other athletes not toxic and whatnot. At all. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, they're 100% toxic. <laughs> but just I'm, it shows what, it, what a team really has to do to work together because it's a lot more than, you know, just like, oh, this guy's really fast, this guy's really strong, you know, we can be on a team together and do well. It's like... I think Jordan have to is do... vastly underestimating actual sports here. Well, Jordan's I, I a nerd, am. guys. Yeah, 100%. And like, I like don't me, care about sports. Who yeah, has Ryan, watched Ryan a lot is... of sports in my past. By the yeah. way, if you like sports a lot, you're a nerd, too. Like, nerd doesn't yeah. mean... Like, nerd just means something that you're interested in way more than you probably should be. So That's true. If you're out there with your, your statistics trying to get fantasy baseball... You, you're a nerd, so how about how about you back off there? Ooh, I just thought of something. Fantasy Overwatch League. That'd be cool. That would probably happen if it gets big enough. Like actually, I, one I'll, million percent will happen if that gets big enough. I want to. I want to start that. That'd be cool. So of course, with you know, a lot, if not most, <clears throat> excuse me, of the biggest esports in the world, which include things like Dota, League, Fortnite, PUBG. Eh, I would disagree with this last two. <laughs> Overwatch, Counter Strike, yeah. Go. A lot of them include murking people, you know, killing people. Ganking people. Ganking people. Gutting people. I don't know if you can gut anybody in those games. That would be brutal. Sending them to man the hunt, hog heaven. Manhunt is, is going to be in the Olympics. Manhunt and Postal are going to be represented in the Olympics. <laughs> but, I mean, there are some games like Rocket League, FIFA, you know, sports games and stuff like that that don't really include killing. But it says here that kind of saying, he kind of hints at not even letting them in because... If you let them in, it kind of leaves it open for the others. But, like I said earlier, this guy's kind of been called out for having some yeah. dumb points and being hypocritical. So, I don't really... I think it's kind of dumb. 
But I feel like what needs mm, to happen is just if they get all the gold medalists from all the countries to go up against a the respective people from those countries that play said video games, and if they can beat them in a video game, then they won't be in the Olympics. And that's that's how they should do it. Jordan should have his own podcast about weird, ridiculous standards that don't that's, apply in any form of fashion. Right. That's right. Now, okay, now for a not so quite hard segue. Overwatch League to open 2019 season with 20 teams. RIP Florida Mayhem. Overwatch League.com. Oh, man. They got like gutted, didn't they? Yeah, except for two players, man. Saya player and awesome guy. They're Saya staying. player and awesome guy. Yeah. Of course but you can't everybody- get them. Yeah, they're the only Koreans on the team. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know they. I did not. I've never even heard of them. I've heard of that, like that big guy and that weird looking guy and that homeless looking guy. <laughs> Logic and Swoosh and uh, Zupe. Yeah. yeah, the big guys, so, baby. The best players on the team. Man, uh, yeah. So <clears throat> this man. isn't really about that though. This is about. It's not. Uh, Overwatch is getting. I believe it's eight more teams in all. Um, they're going to get teams. Teams are going to be opening in Atlanta. Excuse me if I pronounce these wrong. I apologize. I'm going to pronounce them wrong. Atlanta, Guangzhou, Zohu, Chengdu, Hangzhou, Paris, Toronto, Vancouver, and Washington. So uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, eight. six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah so that's fine. Uh, and so they're all going to be in uh, the competition for the 2019 Olympic. Oh, Olympic, excuse me. Overwatch League Championship. Watch League. This is going to end up being a total of 20 teams, and nine of these will be outside of the United States. Which is pretty awesome. Oh, the Overwatch World Cup is going on right now, too, by the way. Okay. So, it's pretty awesome. My Discord is blowing up. I know. That's why I, I don't put, know. Do not disturb. I should have. Um, that's There's not a whole lot to talk about here. It, it is cool that these are expanding. Um, it's going to make it more popular. More people are going to be able to play, make money off of this. It's going to include, probably make streamers bigger. Obviously, the people who announce it and people who are going to be on the teams, it's going to expand. So that's good news for everyone involved. Um, yep. There's, a, like we said, I don't, um, mm, I don't know what I was going to say. There's, uh, well, Lincoln owners, that's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah, owners, there's some uh, ownership groups. The, the one that I think is the funniest is the Washington Esports Ventures. It's uh, Mark L- N. And he's the owner of the Washington Cascales of World Team Tennis. Okay. It's just, it's just interesting that... I think there's a hockey uh, team. I bumped my words around absolutely ungodly amount there, but I believe... Yeah. I was trying to say that I believe that there's a hockey team. Yeah. A yeah, diverse the, uh, family business. Uh, okay, so the Aquilin Group, I believe. Yep. Or That's how I pronounce a, it. A diverse family business that owns the National Hockey League's Vancouver Canucks. So it's going to be another pro... Uh, team owner this time with the NHL purchasing an esports league oh, or not a league excuse me a team moving on from this news is some very very uh, light news but Nintendo Switch Online will be happening later this month yeah um, which is still no release date on that uh, yeah I thought the- I had a release date but apparently not because I couldn't find one yeah if they I'm haven't wrong, came out with one yet uh, check it out should be pretty easy to find if I'm wrong Yep. But it will be in September, unless that changes. Moving on to yet more Nintendo news. It seems Splatoon 2 does not support cloud saves. What does this mean, Jordan? And my Uplay account just randomly opens on my desktop. That's right. I don't know why. So I guess I'm going to play some Rainbow Six Siege today. Well, you can just do it, and I'll just uh, finish this episode out by myself. <laughs> because I don't play Rainbow Six Siege because it hates me. <laughs> so this just means that Splatoon 2 doesn't support that? clouds cloud saves uh so it's kind of weird because i want to be able to take my little squid bellies wherever i go you know but i don't think that's what cloud saves is oh my gosh i feel i can hear that it's my room of six siege starting up i didn't even <laughs> open it your computer wants you to play actually i think i opened right it now. tried to open up and open it up like an hour ago wow okay <laughs> that's the but, power uh, of the internet so with the like, paid Nintendo, cloud, but I think cloud save. I think it's just talking about oh, saving it to the cloud. So if something happens, you it switch. Is. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it has anything to do with taking it on the go. I, I know. I, it, I was just making a joke. It was a bad joke. It's okay. So yeah, it it won't support cloud storage, which is kind of stupid. I want to be able to. That's so it's save. weird more than anything. It's weird. I don't understand. 
I don't either. I feel like they're just like, yeah, they don't need it. It's but like, Splatoon 3 mm, will mm. have cloud storage. It's like, what? Uh, they're like, yeah, so yeah it's because it of cloud says, storage, except for some of the games don't. Yeah, on the uh, starter pack, on the official Nintendo site, in small print, uh, it doesn't have cloud support. It officially says, quote, Nintendo Switch Online membership sold separately and Nintendo account required for online play, period. This game does not support save data cloud backup, end quote. Dumb. That's stupid. But speaking of stuff that isn't stupid, The Verge wrote an article about Razer Phone. Razer Phone confirms it's working on a second generation Razer phone. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's interesting to see I just realized how, how that well, my mic was muted. Um, yep. It's I interesting to see this. how well the first phone did and it's kind of cool to be able to have uh, on the go gaming on a phone. If you didn't, uh, some people might not know but uh, Razer did not oh, did not, did, excuse me have a phone that they released and it actually got really, really good reviews. It um, did. I've wanted this phone really. Yes, so did I. I still might pick it up. Um, like it <clears throat> had, it got uh, high praise for screen. Its screen, its volume got amazing reviews. Like it had amazing like stereotype speakers. And it was supposedly really rugged. Really, really good for gaming, obviously. Because I hope. The only thing they keep, not the only thing, but I hope this Razer Phone 2, it's just what I'm going to call it, still has the 120 hertz screen. I'm or, sure it will. I'll probably, or probably have a better screen. screen. Ooh, that'd be awesome. Um, Yeah, I'm trying to see if it, it, I don't believe it has any kind of release date. No details, no price, no release date. But it's really cool. I really wanted this phone, cool. so maybe I'll pick the second one up, or maybe I'll wait yeah. until the second, the second one, comes one comes out, and, and then the first one goes on sale. Like a poor person. Like, I. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next piece of news we have here is Kojima's Death Stranding will be at Tokyo Game Show 2018. So this was interesting. I didn't know anything about this until you. Uh, oh really? Yeah, it. I think I no, saw it like yesterday. The day before yesterday. I feel like I heard about it, but I was kind of just like, eh, whatever. But it's you know anything that comes out of Tokyo Game Show is always interesting. Yeah, so so uh, Kojima Productions will host a Death Stranding stage event at this year's Expo. Um, yeah, that's uh, pretty interesting. It's, uh, development on Death Stranding began following Kojima's departure from Konami in 2015. The title was first revealed during Sony's 2016 E3 press conference. Although, aside from being an open-world action game, it's still very much shrouded in mystery. Oh, yeah. So, it's kind of oh, interesting. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, we don't know anything about this game, like Jordan said, and it's been in development forever. Some people say... It might even be a PS5 game, which honestly I could see happening very easily. Maybe even being like a Last of Us situation where it was on PS3 and PS4. So maybe this could be on PS4 and PS5. I don't know. I'm not sure. Could be very uh, very interesting to watch develop. But if you're interested in that game, keep an eye on Tokyo Game Show this year. Maybe we'll yeah, find some new stuff. Um, I think I might have heard that it'll have some cast members there. And I'm sure it'll show some gameplay or something. So, um, definitely, definitely keep your eye out on that. We got a Valve story here, and then we got one weird story that Jordan told me about. So, we, so Valve... Uh, go ahead. Yeah, so Valve changed how Steam Search works, furthering its new Anything Goes model. In the past several months, at least, yeah, I'd say so. Valve has had some issues, I guess you'd say, with adult games, like... Um, sexual games and stuff like that, and I guess violent games too, maybe like ultra violent yeah, games. Yeah, all that. And they've gone back and forth about whether they want to be on the site, not on the site, on the site, not on the site, and they finally decided to um let them on. Just add two new f- filters called mature content and adults only. Uh, this says, Valve said, quote, We often see developers who tell us their game contains mature content, but no sex or violence. Uh, you can now filter those games out if you wish. The second is an adults-only filter, which allows you to filter out games that feature oh, they're bringing AO back. sexual content. <coughs> they're bringing AO back, quote, baby. AO. Yeah, adults-only. Oh. There was a game yeah. rating called AO. 
I don't know I'm if okay it's still a thing, but it was I'm pretty sure much a dead thing. sentence if any game had it. So <laughs> people don't really want to have it. Like, it was kind of a, just a, a mark of death. But it also does say on here that games are, that are legal or straight up trolling can still be banned. So if you're trying to make something horrifying that's just disgusting and should obviously not be able to be viewed by anybody, it will be taken down by Valve. Yeah. So it's a monster corporation. Don't do that. So don't mess with them. Yeah. They won't mess with you. But it's, I guess, I mean, it's good that, you know, games that might otherwise not be on there, you know, they might have to go to some gross website that no one wants to go. You can get it on That's Valve true. or on Steam, That's right. I should say. My gosh, my rooms are being so noisy. I know it happens. Life happens, man. Life. I think both of us are. That's happening happening to both of us today. Exactly. All our roommates are screwing up. We're gonna have to beat them up when we get out of here, man. I'll beat up yours and you beat up mine. Deal. Okay. Well, sounds like a fun time. So this next piece of news, I, (laughs) I threw it in here because I hadn't heard about this game, in forever. So. Forever. That's right. THQ Nordic has acquired Kingdom of. Kingdoms of Amalur. Man, uh, THQ Nordic so, is buying so much stuff. Yeah, They've got like they Darksiders and other games I, that I can't think of at the top of my head. Right. But they're buying uh, so much and they're, I think they've got, I don't know, maybe like 20 or 30 games in development. I don't know yes. what they're thinking. So, and so their next project for, was clearly Kingdom of Amalur. Amalur. Yeah, so Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning is a PlayStation 3 game that I played through twice. Like, I picked it up back when I didn't have a good PC and I wanted to play an RPG, MMO-style game. But it's not an MMO, it's just an RPG. For those of you that don't know, it's an action role-playing game that was under the direction of 38 Studios. And it went on to launch a handful of DLC uh, before the development, you know, got thrown into this legal mumbo-jumbo. And then there was pretty much, like, like a set... a two point five million dollar settlement. Wait, uh, what? The state of you got sued. Yeah, so they got sued, and then bankrupt bankruptcy, and then they just like disappeared. And so this was back in like 2016, and the game came out in 2013, uh, was it? Uh, yeah, 20 yeah 2013. And so I played through it twice, and it was just interesting that it why they're acquiring it and whatnot, but uh. It's the character to you customize your character, which is, it was a really good customization. Well, not like superb or anything, but it was pretty good for a PlayStation 3 game. Uh, and your character grows and develops with you as you go throughout the story, and there's tons of weapons and whatnot. And it's just action adventure style combat. So it's like really fast, fast paced combat. And it's just, it was just a really fun game. And there's still tons of fans behind it that enjoy the game and whatnot. I, I like the game, but I'm not one of those people that still follow its, I guess, lore and whatnot on the on the internet. So, But if you want to check it out, it is on Steam. It is on PlayStation 3. It's probably like less than $5, if that. So I just saw this randomly on Twitter, and I was like, why is this in my feed, and why are they buying this? So, I don't know. The mysteries of THQ Nordic are right. far too advanced for me to understand, I'll tell you that much. That is correct. Uh, so, uh, you got any more that- weird... Oh, I was just going to say, like, um, I think I was just too busy playing Skyrim when this came out, even though it came out like two years after Skyrim. I, I remember yeah. seeing it and being like, I'm just going to I'm just gonna keep playing Skyrim. Years later. But I think that's going to wrap it up for our news, though. Yeah, let's move on to the deals of the week. The first thing we have is, oh, watch is going to be 12 buckaroos on a Humble Bundle. Yep. That's the cheapest I've ever seen this game. I think it's the cheapest it's ever been. It's out of free weekends or something. That's true, yeah. So you can pick it up. It'll be 100% yours. You just pay that $12. And only, that's not only Overwatch. You get other stuff, too. We just didn't mark that stuff down because it's not Overwatch, and we don't care. That's that's pretty much 100% correct. Yep. And you can, uh, you what mm-hmm. is the subscription? Oh, you're talking about Humble Bundle? Yeah, the whole Bundle is subscription-based. Or that's how you get Overwatch through this particular bundle. And then, uh, yeah, it'll be yours. And you can download it. You can play it. And you can figure out if you're an Arisa main or, you know, a Symmetra or a Torb or whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. This uh, next deal is definitely right up your alley. Did you uh, claim this already? No, I barely heard this game at all. But free Rainbow Six Siege loot through Twitch. 
So if you have Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime, <clears throat> you can uh, link your Amazon or your Twitch accounts with um, Ubisoft, and then it'll give you free stuff through uh, Rainbow Six Siege and yep. Twitch. Um, I'm not sure exactly last... what it is, but it's like I think it comes with like an an emblem for your gun probably. or something. I don't think it, I don't think it's a skin. I think it's. I know the summer ones were skins. Are you talking? No, yeah, but those weren't free. I'm talking about. Oh. Okay. This is this. It comes with like a few packs, I think, of uh, loot okay. or loot boxes, cool. but they like they look like MREs or something. And then the last Ooh. thing we have here is the free golden Overwatch loot box. Through, once again, through Twitch, so you can link your Twitch and your Overwatch accounts. And um, if you have listened to the uh, podcast in the beginning, you may know that I got two legendary uh, skins, but they were Bastion and Symmetra, so thanks a lot, Blizzard. Yep, for those of you that are curious to what legendary skin I got, I only got one. Uh, it was a Reinhardt skin, the, uh, the light, fun-sided version of him, not Blackheart, whatever that one's called. So that was kind of cool. I, hmm. Trying to think. I posted a picture of it on Twitter, so if you want to see what it is, okay, you can check, check it, out. it out. Yeah, I like Reinhardt, so that's cool. It's cool. Yeah. All right, let's uh, mention them uh, outros yeah. and whatnot. So the uh, so the intro and the outro for this show is also by the Heatley Brothers. They do some awesome jams and ditties, and this intro and outro song is "Back to Business." Yep, we really like it. It sounds kind of newsy or something. I don't know, but. We like it. Check them out if you like them. They're the yep. Healy Brothers on Twitter as well, I think. That's right. Yep. And you, uh, the link will always be in the show notes to check out whatever intro song we use and whatnot. You can just click on it, and it'll take you right there. As always, you can listen to the podcast on Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, Spotify. Well, I, uh, actually, on that Google Podcast, no, we've been having a lot of trouble with Google Podcast. Google Music. Sorry. Yeah, Google Music. I'm sorry. Google Music. Yeah, actually, Some, I should have talked. Sometimes yeah. it... Go ahead. Like, I think we just now got, like, episode 20 on there, and this is episode 22. Yeah. So if you're trying to get through there... Well, this, this is episode one. Oh, yeah, that's right. My bad. This is... But episode, like, 20 of the main yeah, correct. podcast. Um, <coughs> which was, like, two or three weeks ago. Correct. And yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's really annoying. So we really apologize if you've been trying to get it through Google Music. Um, but you can listen to it on Google yes, Podcasts, exactly. so which is just as wonderful. It's a great app. It's better because it has our podcast on it. That's right. Yeah, we talked to our host about it, and it's not just our podcast. There's a slew of people that are having problems with Google Play Music. It, I feel like Google is just their way of saying, hey, we're not going to support this anymore. Just use Google Podcasts. Continue. So we're on Google Podcasts. We're on Spotify, baby. We're on YouTube, TuneIn, Stitcher, or your favorite podcatcher. You can just look up One Up Me, and we'll pop up. As always, we definitely appreciate y'all listening. Tell your friends, tell your enemies, share it on Facebook, like, tweet it on Twitter, subscribe, comment, hit that bell icon, baby. That's right. You know what YouTubers mm-hmm. say? Yep, hit that bell icon. Uh, for all the latest podcast news, you can follow the podcast at One Up Me Podcast, or use the hashtag Play On or the hashtag Ask One Up Me to submit your questions or topics for the show. You can email the show if you don't have any social media. Uh, for some reason, you can email the show at. Uh, one up me podcast at gmail.com that's one up me podcast at gmail.com we got a new fancy smancy beautiful website yeah it looks even better than the last the last one was it a does. little bit I don't know chaotic this one looks better and um tell them the best news Jordan it's uh one up me gaming dot com it's not w- one up me dot wix dot gaming dot this is slash play bad. on whatever it's one up me Gaming, gaming dot com. Dot com. So check that, that out. That is ours. It's gonna have we bought our that. Insta- it's going to have uh, our Instagram, our Twitter, like all our podcast. The feed. Yeah, the podcast feed, the Instagram feed, the Twitter feed. It's going to have the YouTube videos, YouTube videos, the articles. So if you have any interest in that, check that out. Um, hope you like it because we spent yep. a while making it. We did, and money. Yeah, that's true. Um, we all, you can also check us out on our social media. What is the Twitter and the Instagram? So, the, so our podcast, Twitter, as mentioned before, is One Up Me Podcast. Boom. The inst- the Instagram is going to be. Oh my god! It's not easy. I always forget it's, when it starts. I'm like One Up Me. It's, uh, it's uh, the Instagram is going to be One Up Me Gaming. The Reddit, the, podcast, is gonna be, okay. is, the Reddit is going to be the Reddit is going to be slash One Up Me Podcast. 
you can Twitch. follow. Twitch. Oh yeah, Twitch. Yeah, baby. The Twitch yeah, is I'm also Twitch. TV slash one at me gaming. Boom, baby. We changed that because it was one of my podcasts for some reason because I made it that because yep. I'm an idiot. That's okay. We're definitely trying to focus towards the entertainment gaming side of our brand and whatnot. Uh, we also have a Patreon. It'll be in the show notes. We don't. We're not gonna ask for money though because. We just, we just wanted to tell you it's there because we don't know how to make it private and we <laughs> haven't Googled how to make it private yet. I didn't think about that. We've there. been so busy lately. We've been like, him with work and me with yeah. school. I've barely even been able to play games. Yeah, it's just, yeah. We have one of those. As oh, always, yeah. you can follow me on say, Twitter. Yeah. Go ahead. What? I, was, I, was, I was about to say, yeah, I almost forgot the Twitter oh, yeah. stuff. We have our personal Twitters uh, that we post anything we want on because this isn't an official company and we can say whatever we want. I can say whatever I so. want. The day I die, baby. That's right. Boom. Till the day I die. Till I uh, you die. You can follow me on. That's right. Dab dab. You can dab, follow dab, me on Twitter yeah. at Asuayluck. <laughs> Where can they follow you? Oh, Ryan Divisions. You can follow, yep, you can follow Coffee McCofferson at Ryan Divisions on Twitter. Uh, that's about it. Thanks for listening to the first ever episode of One Up My News, and have a great I'm week. Go stab my roommate. Bye. Bye. <laughs>